Due to the increasing temperature giving rise to heat stress among poultry beds, there is need for me to make this video. The essence is to equip you, my beloved subscribers and viewers ahead of the heat period so that you don't spend money unnecessarily on drugs when you can manage the situation with little or no money, knowing fully well that heat stress if not checked could cause low egg production and reduce egg quality in layers. It can also cause stunted, retarded or slow growth in boilers and this leads to economic loss on the part of the farmer. On this video, I will discuss the three most important ingredients every farmer must have, especially during the heat stress and what they do for your beds and how to preserve it. Most of my people, welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Loaf. I remain your anchor Ishokri of Okironi. You can call me Ovorans. I appreciate all my old and new subscribers. Please to my viewers that are yet to subscribe. Kindly click the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss important upload. Don't forget to give this video a like and drop your questions in the comment section. Most importantly, share for others to benefit at no extra cost to you. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. I have made series of video on electrolytes, its usage both for your day old cheeks, for brellas and layers respectively, which you can use the link above at the top right corner of your screen to watch. I will also drop the links in the description box and in the end screen by the end of this video. Do well to check them out. I am going to discuss the three major ingredients in making your homemade electrolyte and what they do for your beds. But first, I want to give you the condition on when to use this homemade electrolyte. 1. Only use upon arrival of your beds to relieve transportation stress, be it day old chicks or adult beds. 2. When bed is sick and unable to eat. 3. When bed are subjected to stress, especially during the heat stress period. And lastly, on no account should you give healthy beds electrolyte. Hence, homemade electrolyte should only be reserved for specific purposes when beds are at an increased risk of dehydration or in need of recovery support. The first ingredient that is very important in the homemade electrolyte is salt. This is the table salt or kitchen salt. The salt helps the beds to maintain proper hydration and fluid balance within the body. This is because during heat stress, more body fluids are lost which affects the bed. It doesn't end there. The sodium from the salt plays a very important role in regulating cell function and maintaining the body's overall health. They also help to facilitate nerve health function, muscle contractions and the most important aspect I love about it is that they aid in absorption of nutrients. Simply adding a small amount of salt to the solution goes a long way in replenishing the sodium level lost during the period of dehydration or stress. The sodium stimulates the taste of the beds making the beds to drink more water to stay hydrated and also enable them to retain water and prevent excessive water loss through urine. Yes, some persons may say bears don't urinate. They do urinate just that it is in solid form along with the feces. The whitish patch on the poo, poo is their urine. On a very serious note, please do not look at the importance and be tempted to increase the dosage. This could be detrimental to your bed's health as too much of salt can harm your beds. The second ingredient is sugar or molasses. Better still, you can use honey. This is a quick source of energy for your beds. You can watch my video on how to use sugar solution for your beds with the link above and also in the description box. Due to heat stress, beds reduce feed intake and drink more water. This results in low nutrient intakes. By adding a small amount of sugar, honey or molasses to the homemade electrolyte solution will help to stimulate their appetite and encourage the beds to drink the electrolyte solution. The sugar in this solution is an already made energy to boost the bed's energy level and quicken full recovery. The third ingredient is baking soda. Please, there is a fourth and fifth ingredient which is a bonus stick. So ensure to watch till the end. But first, just subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the bell icon. Like, comment and share. Thanks. Baking soda is needed for your beds, both layers and brellas because it helps to balance the pH levels in their bodies. Listen very well to this. The pH level in poultry beds have a specific range where it provides the peak health benefits and proper physiological body functions. So, baking soda acts as a buffer that regulate the acid-base balance within the bed system. 
Why it is important to include baking soda in your electrolyte is that the pH levels can be imbalanced when the bed is sick or stressed due to heat and other factors. By adding a small amount of baking soda helps to restore and maintain the pH balance which will make the bed to be more active. It also aids in the digestion by neutralizing excess stomach acid and reduction of discomfort in beds. The fourth ingredient which is a bonus is storing your electrolytes. Homemade electrolytes do not actually have a known expiring date but using them within one to two weeks from the date of production will be the best. Just discard after it exceeds two weeks. A better way to preserve it longer is to place in a refrigerator or deep freezer to make it frozen. This helps to maintain its freshness and also inhibits the growth of bacteria. And one more thing, ensure to seal the container tightly and once you notice any sign such as change in color, odor or sign of mold growing in it, just discard the solution immediately. Please do not use. The fifth and the last bonus tip is to subscribe, turn on the bell icon, like, comment and share for others to benefit. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.